Why is depression after surgery a reality for a lot of patients? So this is a tough and challenging issue. Um, some reports say up to 50% of patients can experience some form of depression uh, in the post-operative course. And I think it's a very real thing and can have a severe impact on patients. The onus falls on us to a certain extent as surgeons to start addressing this issue um, preoperatively. So there are several different ways that we can do this. Um, I think it's important to screen patients uh, preoperatively for certain risk factors that may or may not be modifiable and improve outcomes. So what I typically will do is, um, you know, if a patient has a history of mental illness, we'll explore that further and see that they're getting the appropriate treatment and that it's well controlled before proceeding. If there are any red flags, so things like alcohol abuse or substance abuse, uh, and the patient voices a concern about those, we'll talk more about that. Another common thing that we're seeing now is uh, opioid use. So chronic opioid use preoperatively is something that we try to manage um, effectively before surgery. If all of those things come together and we're able to proactively address them, uh, then I think that that helps minimize the chance of depression after surgery. But it's a very real phenomenon and something that uh, cannot be negated.